Arizona Secretary of State refuses to honor GOP request to test voting machines. The fight over the presidential election is continuing at a state level, not just a national level. President-elect Joe Biden flipped the state of Arizona, and it's become a fight within the state government. The Republican state Senate president is battling it out with the Democratic Secretary of State Katie Hobbs. Fan wants to test voting machines in the state, while Hobbs is refusing her request. Fan is requesting an independent analysis of the machines. In a letter to Hobbs, she said she is not claiming there was fraud in the voting procedure. But many others are making that claim, said Fan. She believes the outside review will put the current controversy to rest for good. Hobbs believes that even though Fan is noting that she does not believe there was fraud, she is still getting enveloped in conspiracy theories just by suggesting that an extra step would quiet the rumors, even though it is not legally required. It is patently unreasonable to suggest that, despite there being zero credible evidence of any impropriety or widespread irregularities, election officials nonetheless have a responsibility to prove a negative, she wrote as a response to Fan. To be clear, there is no current controversy regarding elections in Arizona, outside of theories floated by those seeking to undermine our democratic process for political gain, said Hobbs. Elected officials should work to build, rather than damage, public confidence in our system. Hobbs responded further, rejecting the request. I respectfully decline your request to push aside the work that remains to be done to ensure an orderly completion of this election and instead launch and fund with taxpayer dollars a boundless independent evaluation of all data related to the tabulation of votes in the 2020 general election. Fan reported to Capital Media Services that there isn't anything improper about her request, even though there is not any proof of fraud. There are a lot of questions that the voters have, she said. And for the integrity of our democracy, why wouldn't we want to get to the bottom of these questions? If there's nothing there, Fan suggested, let's find out what they are, and either put them to bed or get those questions answered. Hobbs claims everything that is being done follows the election laws that were established by the Republican-controlled legislature. The equipment that is used to tabulate votes can only be used if it is first certified by the U.S. Election Assistance Commission in her office after it has been reviewed by a special state's equipment certification advisory committee. Additionally, there are logic and accuracy tests that are done on every piece of equipment. These tests are required to be done in public both before and after the election to ensure the machines are properly recording votes. There is even a law requiring 2% of the ballots from select precincts to be counted by hand to ensure the vote tally matches what the machines reported. Party officials can even record the process if they choose to. Those requirements were made public months before the election. It's not like we're trying to hide anything, said Hobbs. If the public right now is deciding, oh, we need to do something else, it's because they weren't paying attention or they chose not to.